Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get Elgato Wavelink working on Mac OS Sonoma 14.5. And it's really not that bad unless you're following Elgato's instructions on their website because it's outdated. So let's get into it. So I figured I'd make this quick video because you might have ran into the same issue I did. I got a bunch of Elgato products and I wanted to start streaming on my Mac. But then I ran into an issue once I downloaded Wavelink. I ran into an issue where I was trying to add audio sources like Apple Music, Spotify, uh, Google Chrome, just for like YouTube video music. I ran into this issue that would say audio engine not correctly installed. The Wavelink audio engine is not properly installed. Please see our instructions on how to complete the installation process. And what it says to do is download Loopback. But Loopback costs a hundred bucks. There is a free trial but it's only 20 minutes. So you only have 20 minutes to figure it out. Don't do this. You really don't have to do this. So then I looked through Reddit to try to find something that would help me, like I usually do when I run into an issue. And everything on Reddit seemed like it was from a year ago, maybe six months ago. And so I didn't know if they came out with a new update. So then I looked on Elgato's website. I ran through what they had listed as an instructions on how to fix it, and it didn't work. So then I reached out to support and it took me a few tries finally got to somebody he wasn't familiar with mac and he wasn't sure how to help me he took me to that same page that i was on that was outdated and i was telling him everything on there doesn't look the same as the pictures do on my mac not really sure what to do he reached out to somebody else and then they sent him instructions and then he emailed me those instructions so i'm going to show you those instructions today all right so let's break this down so I guess this would be step negative two since step zero is down here. So what you're gonna wanna do on step negative two is uninstall completely, get Wavelink off. What you wanna do next, step negative one, is you wanna disconnect your Wave device. So I'm using the Wave XLR. Just go ahead and disconnect it. And then reinstall Wavelink off their website like you've done before. So next, what you're gonna wanna do on step zero, is this message will pop up you know like if you use a mac you've seen this plenty of times so you open system settings right here and then step one you're going to enable system extensions once you do that it's going to want to restart your computer pull this up on your phone while you're doing it on your mac or something like that and make it a little easier so you don't have to memorize all this because your your computer's going to shut out so once you shut down, on the back, on your Mac, you're gonna wanna hold down the power button and you're gonna keep holding it until you see this pop up. And it should take like, I mean, it takes maybe like 20, 30 seconds, something like that. Like I just held to make sure, just keep holding it. And then next, you're gonna start up security utility. So on the other page, on their help page, it had it where you could do it um, right below the Macintosh HD. It had this setting. So now it's up at the top in a little bar. So now you're going to start up security utility. And then next you're going to unlock the disk if file vault is used. So go ahead and unlock it. Open the security policy. Step six. You click security policy. And then this will pop up and you're gonna reduce security and allow user management of kernel extensions from identified developers. I didn't end up clicking this bottom one, not sure what it does. I guess if you just want um, automatic updates, might be worth it, but I didn't do it. So you click okay and then you'll restart your computer. So next you're gonna open system settings after restart and then It'll say it's blocked. You click OK, and then you'll go to Allow. So now you see how this is checked on mine? Right after you reset, it should say this, and you click Allow. And that's it. Once you finish that, it should work just fine. So one thing I noticed is whenever I click down at the bottom, sometimes Elgato Wavelink won't work down at the taskbar at the bottom. So what I'll have to do is go up here and sometimes it won't pull up. So I'll click configure and it'll pull up like this. And sometimes you got to quit right here. So you have to use this up here. 
though I noticed some people on Reddit were saying that it would just bounce down at the bottom. So whenever it was doing that, I would just go up here, hit configure, and it would pull it right up. And if it's still messing up, just quit. And if it's still messing up, restart your computer. I had to do that a couple times. The last week or so, it's been working just fine. So now you should be able to add the audio input of your choice just by clicking right here. And then you can add Apple Music and you can also add Google Chrome or whatever browser you're using if you just want to use like DMCA free music. But if this video did help you out, please give me a like. You know how the YouTube algorithm is. It would help me a ton. If I helped you, it'd be real nice. I do have a Patreon. It's $3. I'll try to get to everybody in the comments, but if you want to message me directly, you can do it on there. And I think that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and have a good one. Peace.